Good morning, I hope you're doing well. Today I figured that I would write some poetry because it's kind of cloudy and, and I kind of feel that I get down when the weather is gray. But today I figured I would try to curb that a little bit by pampering myself and drinking some golden milk. So on my phone, I've kept a note in my notes app that's called Poetry Seeds. And I like to just write phrases and lines that come to mind. And the other day I wrote two lines. And those lines were under the towers built on shifting sands. And that kind of started getting me thinking about a couple poems I wrote in the past about the desert, the sheer landscape that evokes this melancholy, timeless aesthetic. And I thought maybe I would try to write a poem that captures that a little bit better with this prompt, so to say. Under the towers built on shifting sands. So right now I'm imagining the desert, these towers that are almost ruined, almost like apocalyptic skyscrapers, like an ancient chassis of some structure that was once there. But the aesthetic that I'm pulling from these lines also gives me a sense of looking up at these towers, right? And they can be representative also of some mental facade. I believe that's kind of what I was envisioning when I wrote these lines was that the shifting sands and these towers are a metaphor for subconscious structuring that we perform in order to hold ourselves to a certain level of ego. And the shifting nature of the sands kind of represents the impermanence and the and how culture gives us different shifting frames of hierarchy. Anything we strive to do in the way of ego will eventually erode as the frame shifts. So I want to build this imagery a little bit. Under the towers built on shifting sands. Beneath. I'm also kind of imagining a stormy sky for some reason, even though this is the desert. Comma, beneath. Beneath the gale, under the towers built on shifting sands, beneath the gale, something I stand, my something stands. Let's try to work on the theme um, a little bit more. So this kind of idea of ego and perspective shifting. I'm trying to place myself in this situation. So looking up at these towers, representing almost a metaphor for the impermanence of ego and of society and our achievements. Looking up at them, trying to gather that feeling. There's the stormscape behind. What are the feelings though? To me, it's kind of evoking a sense of awe at the power of the natural breakdown and also a sense of futility in attempting to go against it. It's threatening your ego and your ability to build with the human race. Because as the race's achievements fall, so does your pride in your own abilities to be part of those achievements, right? I'm feeling that pitiful is kind of the synonym to what I'm trying to say, pitiful. Now I'm starting to think maybe I'll avoid rhyming here. Continue developing the scene. And I really like the word recesses that I just found here. Beneath the gale, the old recesses. Amid the dunes. I think I'll go with that. Under the towers, built on shifting sands. Beneath the gale, the old recesses. Amid the dunes, their ruins stand, and here I shelter. Guesses, sessions, processor, processes, stresses. I already used sand, 
Amid the dunes, their ruins stand, and here I shelter from the sand. Under the towers, built on shifting sands, beneath the gale, the old recesses. Amid the dunes, their ruins stand, and here I shelter from the sand. I want to build more on the metaphor now. I want to build on knowledge or wisdom eroding the objective nature of the mind. And perhaps the reader can also identify with the towers somehow, maybe through ownership, like my towers. The erosion of these structures kind of represents an erosion within themselves or of at least their own property. I was thinking about trying to introduce wind into the picture and I wanted it to feel violent and painful like sand blowing from the top of a dune almost cutting the air so I was thinking tearing wind amid the dunes their ruins stand and here I shelter from the sand the tearing wind erodes my frame and etched the towers down to bones and etched my towers down to bones once the knowledge once the knowledge built this world, but now it strips it. Under the towers built on shifting sands, beneath the gale the old recesses. Amid the dunes their ruins stand, and here I shelter from the sand. The tearing wind erodes my frame and etched my towers down to bones. Once my knowledge built this world, but now has stripped it down to nothing. I think Maybe I'll use down to stone instead of nothing, just to make it more impactful with the rhyme, because it really feels like right there it should rhyme with bones, right? Now I want to evoke an image. The twisted frame. And I'm thinking perhaps I can use that as a way of visualizing the tower eroding and finally falling. How about this? In search of warmth, I venture through a tattered arch, and then I saw. In search of warmth, I venture through a tattered arch, and then I saw the twisted frame fall away into the gale without a sound down into the shifting sands it disappeared and was gone so i want to end it now with one more stanza okay so the last stanza stanza needs to rhyme with sound in order to kind of give the ending a full effect in my opinion at least so i want to end it with a note of I wouldn't say positivity, but um, some kind of contrast, you know? So maybe awe or deep melancholy or deep inspiration of some sort that gives the viewer a sense of puniness and yet almost inspiration at the immensity and leveling features of the universe. I could use profound to rhyme with sound. I could use ground buried beneath this ground. Down into the shifting sands it disappeared and was gone. And with its going I cried in awe. Into the storm I screamed and howled. I don't know about that though. Let's write that down. Howled. In search of warmth I ventured through a tattered arch and then I saw the twisted frame fall away into the gale without a sound. Down into the shifting sands it disappeared and was gone. In awe, I cried against the wind. I'm having a hard time pulling this back into something kind of positive, like... Um... The twisted frame fall away into the gale without a sound. Down into the shifting sands it disappeared and was gone. In awe, I cried against the wind. I like in all I cried against the wind, but I'm just trying to rhyme it with sound to give that kind of closure effect. 
In awe I cried against the wind as my status tore into the ground. As my tower tore into the ground. As my tower was torn beneath the ground. I'm going to put ventured instead. In search of warmth, I ventured through a tattered arch, and then I saw the twisted frame fall away into the gale without a sound. Down into the shifting sands it disappeared and was gone. In awe I cried against the wind as my tower tore beneath the ground. That's an option, as my tower was torn beneath the ground. I can see some of the, like, interesting aesthetics in this poem kind of building up, and some of the interesting wordplay. Working on a poem, sometimes I'll feel a sense of dissatisfaction and then come back and read it later and be like, oh wow, that's actually pretty good. So, I can do that, or I can rehash this into a new poem if I decide I don't like it later, but for now this is what I've got, and I guess we can do a final reading. Under the towers, built on shifting sands, beneath the gale, the old recesses. Amid the dunes, their ruins stand, and here I shelter from the sand. The tearing wind erodes my frame and etched my towers down to bones. Once my knowledge built this world, but now has stripped it down to stone. In search of warmth, I ventured through a tattered arch, and then I saw the twisted frame fall away into the gale without a sound. Down into the shifting sands, it disappeared and was gone. In awe, I cried against the wind as my tower was torn to the ground. All right, so I think with that, I didn't capture so much the desert aesthetic that I was going for. It more curves towards ruin and desolation rather than kind of the hot, shiny, sheer feeling of the desert. It never really turns out exactly how I expected, but I really like it. I think it came out well. Thanks for spending this time with me. I hope you enjoyed and I hope this can inspire you to try writing some poetry too. It gives you a lot of experience kind of picking out different aesthetics within wordplay. One thing I will say also is that poetry isn't just written. When you write poetry you start to see scintillas kind of buried in the little unions of colors and different shapes around you. Like even these plants and this salt lamp are kind of their own aesthetic. I love this corner. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.